TurboTax is the online market leader for tax preparation services, and in 2024, it continues to be the most popular tax software out there to file your tax returns online. So in this video, we're going to be doing a complete walkthrough of the premier tax software. It's one of our favorites, TurboTax. Stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to the College Investor channel. I'm Justine and here we talk about all things personal finance and investing for millennials. And we're going to be talking about the TurboTax tax software to file your taxes online. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's the most popular and most robust filing experience that you're going to find on the internet to do your taxes with TurboTax. So not only is it really easy to use, it also works extremely well for those who have investments or small business owners. Now, it does remain to be the most costly tax prep services that you can find online. So you're going to pay a premium price, but you're also going to get a premium feel on the inside. So does TurboTax have a free option? They do for a limited group of tax filers. If you have things like a W-2 or social security income, bank interest or dividends, a child tax credit, student loan interest deduction or earned income credit, in those situations, then you could file for free using TurboTax. But tax filers who have HSAs or child care expenses, unemployment income would not qualify for the free version and would have to bump up into one of their paid tiers. Speaking of paid tiers, let's go ahead and check out what the options are. TurboTax often fluctuates their pricing throughout the tax season, so the best deal is to lock in your rate as early as possible. If you know this is a software that you want to go with, locking in your price as early as you can is typically going to be your best deal. So there's actually three different options when it comes to filing your taxes with TurboTax. You can DIY, and that's again with the free tax filing situation that I mentioned, or up to $89. Now the state is additional when you're paying for your state return through TurboTax is going to be $39 additional to whatever you're paying for your federal filing. You can also opt in for the assisted option where you're getting uh, help and support from a tax expert and that's anywhere from zero to $169. And then of course the state is additional. And then they offer a full service. Here you go, here are my taxes. I just want a tax professional to do it all. If you don't have a CPA in your area, but you really want to work with one, TurboTax has you covered. So they'll offer to do their your taxes for you from anywhere between $169 to $359, depending on your tax filing situation. If you got multiple things going on, you got a mortgage, investments, you're a small business owner, you've got a W-2, everything, then you may want to opt in for somebody who is a professional and knows what they're doing. Otherwise, if you've been doing your taxes for several years and you've just been adding some things here and there, the DIY is actually a really robust system and that's what we're going to be walking through today. What's new in 2024 for TurboTax? Well, across all tax software, you're going to see that the updated tax code and law changes implemented inside of the software. Some of the biggest changes to look out for is the standard deduction has increased across the board $900 for married filing jointly and increased by $1,400 for head of households. The advanced child tax credit has reverted to the standard deduction of $3,600 for 2023 and the child independent care limits have returned to pre-COVID limits. Plus the 1099K will go to a wider number of small business owners and the solar energy credit has increased by 30%. You're going to see those changes across the board for tax software and those are the biggest changes to look out for. In 2024, we named TurboTax our best pick for online tax software and mainly due to just how robust that tax filing experience is online and by the way, Let's go ahead and hop into the dashboard and see what it looks like. What I love about TurboTax is they often just guide you step by step with a really quick and easy Q&A guidance. So here they have these little tiles that show you exactly what are some options that you could have to make sure that all of your tax filing situations are covered. So you can say, I want to maximize deductions and credits. I have a job, received a W-2, I have a kid. I'm self-employed. I sold stock crypto or own rental property. That looks good. So continue. I'm comfortable doing it on my own. And then they're going to show you what option is best for you based upon your answers. So 
let's get started for free. Then you're going to fill in your information and get started. Okay, paid rent, child care dependents. Then you can select the appropriate tiles if you have 1099 INTs or 1099 div forms. All of that is shown here. And then if you don't see anything that you're like, oh, well, I really do have rental income or a health savings account, then you can quickly add those things. Ah, and this is so great about TurboTax and one that you're not going to find in a lot of other tax software is that you can automatically import forms without typing them in, which is so amazing. They automatically connect to other platforms like Robinhood, Fidelity, Betterment, and you're able to upload. That's going to save you a ton of time and headache of keying in those things manually, and you're going to be able to just automatically import that information inside of TurboTax so it makes the tax filing experience really fast. I'm all about fast with tax filing. All right, let's keep going. Whoa, this is new. This is new for this year. Goal time, one hour and 16 minutes. Finish your taxes fast without compromising accuracy. That's kind of cool. So it, it kind of makes it a game. That's fun. It tells you how long you've been, been doing your, your taxes. That's awesome. Okay, so then you're gonna file in your personal information and uh, it's pretty straightforward. All tax software is going to have very similar sections. Like it's just the income, deductions and credits, tax filing situations, and then your review, and then you're off to doing your state taxes after that. So you're gonna see this left-hand menu bar to always show you exactly where you're at. And I love this. This is new up at the top. I <laughs> race mode, and you can toggle it on or off. That's really cute. All right, so let's see. Let's go ahead and fill this out. So as I'm going through the personal information, it's kind of fun because it humanizes the tax filing experience inside. So one of the questions was, did Betty, my daughter in this scenario, pay for more than half of their living expenses and other support? We know Betty's a kid, but we have to ask. Looking good, this wraps up any questions about Betty's living situation. So. <laughs> it's just kind of cute that they're asking these things and just making it a little bit more fun on the inside. And again, they're keeping time up here on the race mode of how quickly I've been able to go through this process. Once I got my personal info filled in, they're actually going to try to upsell you on the max benefits. So things like identity theft monitoring, identity restoration, identity theft insurance. If you already have all of that stuff, I don't think this is worth it, so don't add. But it is there and something that they are offering this year. Now let's go into the first section of your federal tax return, which is the income section. So I love how this is a step-by-step -step process. You're not going through a menu of items, but rather you're being guided throughout the entire experience. If you've done your taxes before and you've done it for several, several years, then you might be used to just picking and choosing which sections of your tax return you wanna work on. This is going to kind of push you through this Q&A so it could take you a little bit longer. If you're somebody who's used to doing your taxes on your own, then you may wanna consider something like a Tax Hawk or a Free Tax USA where you can pick and choose from those menu items a lot faster and do it for a bargain price. But you're, if you want more hand-holding, then TurboTax would be my go-to for this. So speaking of hand-holding, we're gonna go through this guidance and see how we do. All right, then we're going to get to this section where you can see I've not started any of these different forms. What makes this really easy is if you had any of these, then we can just go ahead and click start. Work on Bob's W-2. 
and then we'll start keying in the employer identification number. This is so great about TurboTax is that you can upload your W-2 from your computer or you can take a picture with your phone and use a QR code and be able to upload it that way as well. I love that. That is going to save you so much time in keying in that information. You can just simply upload it. You still do have the option of typing it in yourself, which I'm gonna showcase here. It just gives you so many different Once I entered in that W-2, then you're going to see the refund or the amount owed up here at the top of the screen. And that's going to adjust as you go through your tax filing experience within TurboTax. So now we're going to take a look at some tax breaks. And again, it's just a simple Q&A guidance that is really going to help you along. Okay, now that I got through the income section, then we're moving on to deductions and credits. And so it's going to tell me whether or not I need to look at itemized versus standard. Most of us are going to be in the standard deduction, which you can see is a $27,700. So I'm gonna hit continue. And then we're gonna keep going through this. So it's really a very straightforward process. It just gives you quick questions. And if you ever have questions on what they're asking you about, then you can go ahead and click the learn more button. And then it's going to give you a brief breakdown of what this is. So what is a section 179 recapture? And then it's going to tell you exactly <laughs> what that is and then you can pop out of that at any time. By the way, if you ever need help or you need to search for something specific, you can use this search uh, bar up at the top. You can click on the question icon to get help on your tax situation. And then also, if you wanted to do the assisted version of the tax software, then you can click on this live tax advice, and then you can add that as part of your uh, package, your pricing package for TurboTax. Okay, so now we're on to the state tax return. If you ever needed to go back up to another section, then you can go into like the income section, add more income, because I noticed it kind of skipped ahead and didn't really ask me about doing the spouse's W-2, and so we could revisit that and then add a W-2 for Phyllis. So just keep in mind that as you're going through, you wanna make sure that you're double checking across the board your tax forms that you have in hand and what's actually being keyed into the tax software. Another cool feature about TurboTax is that rideshare drivers can actually connect their app to TurboTax and they can download income data for their taxes, which is really incredible. Not only can you do that, but again, if you had any of those 1099 INT forms and you wanna connect to outside brokerage accounts or investing accounts, you can seamlessly sync those inside of TurboTax without having to do the whole upload a PDF document or manually key in entries. You can do that with the W-2 as I showed you. So the fact that you have so much flexibility and being able to grab that data and import it into the tax software system, you're really not going to find that anywhere else. Maybe you're able to upload a W-2 using something like a tax hawk or an H&R block, but by and large, TurboTax is going to be your best tax software and the ability to import your data. So is TurboTax worth it? You are going to be paying a premium cost. So if you are comfortable with paying the higher prices for a really like relaxed experience inside of the tax software, then it's going to be worth it for you. Most people with complex tax filing situations are going to tell you that the 
time that they save using TurboTax is worth the cost. It's not worth the extra effort to save a, a buck or two if you're spending hours upon hours in a tax software that really just isn't up to snuff when it comes to some of those more complex tax filing situations. And you have to look at your own tax filing situation. If you have a very simple situation, then you may want to look for something that's a bargain tax software like a free tax USA, especially if you have those simple forms of just like a W-2, you have maybe an HSA or a student loan interest form, and that's it. If you have a simple tax filing situation, then you may want to look elsewhere for a cheaper alternative. Don't forget we have all of your complete tax software walkthroughs and reviews available to you at the collegeinvestor.com before you jump into a tax software. You'll definitely want to check those out. We will leave a link below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and we'll catch you in the next one.